Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, psychic medium and divine channeler, and this is the Taurus reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that is right for you or when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. You'll always hear what you've got to hear just at the right time. Okay, so we're going to use the Inner Child Tarot today. For the extended reading, I think we're going down the Lightseer Tarot route. And just a little heads up about the extendeds. You can still view on the Vimeo, but also there's another option where you can join my Patreon and get access to all of the extendeds. So check out the link below. Okay, so Taurus, what do you need to know? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. It feels very the words that are in my head is feels very magical. What's going on, Taurus? It feels like I feel like I'm all, almost in Alice in Wonderland and I feel like um, I'm feeling in a very magical, mysterious energy where things just happen and there's such fun and laughter and very living in the moment, which is bringing in all you're needing and wanting. That whimsical, magical energy. And it feels like a really nice place to be, good place to be, different place to be. It's like giving me excited butterflies in my belly. Let's see what's coming. <laughs> okay, so you've got the eight of hearts. Because the love of a lifetime is here. It's happening. I do feel that this connection is somebody you've known already because I feel like you've been through some quite rocky waters. The love has always been there, but it's not always been easy. But now you're moving into calmer waters. Things are more balanced, calm settled it feels very easy and that's a good thing that's because it's in the moment and it's meant to be right now I'm also and I've never noticed this on this card before, but what they're highlighting to me at the minute is the trumpets. So I would say there's heart to heart conversations going on, which are a part of this easiness. This conversation is easier now because it's meant to be happening now. And it feels very free flowing, very deep, very... we don't have to hold that back because we're both on the same wavelength. We're both balanced, we're both equal. It's very... I wanna say easy again because it feels free flowing easy. We've then got the seven of wands and this feels like I want to say you've hidden yourself long enough, hid your true feelings long enough. And outside of your comfort zone, speaking your truth in this open conversation is going to bring about the transformation you're needing. If you don't speak your truth, if you don't stand in your truth, stand in your light, stand in your power, how is anybody meant to know fully how you feel and what you want? 
I feel there's maybe a bit of guessing on both sides and it's needing this open, honest communication, conversation to bring it back together. I feel it's a conversation more than just communication maybe one way because I feel that there's a bit of both of you that needs to speak up, be open, be direct. It feels... Time for that transformation on both sides. There's definitely a both sides being ready at the same time. It's almost like we'll end the stubbornness now, we'll end the pretending and we will just embrace and be honest. We can't hide our feelings any longer. There's definitely heart to heart conversation. It feels deep, it feels to the point, it feels to the core which is really bringing about the transformation and growth which this relationship is needing. Because I do feel there is growth. And then we've got four of wands, which is about growth, I suppose. But you are reaping the rewards for all the seeds you have sown. And you have been sowing seeds. You have been working. You have been digging up that soil, clearing it out. You've been clearing your stuff which has been weighing you down. So those seeds are ready to grow. Your relationship is ready to grow. You're at the right time to allow this to grow. And it's the right time to hear exactly what is in their heart. I feel that you maybe weren't fully ready up to this point to hear the depth of their feelings. There was maybe some fear and resistance, although it was something you truly wanted. You had to be fully ready as well as them. There's definitely been a battle of both sides. Make sure you're honest and speak openly. Don't hide every, anything. Stand in your power and share your heart. It will transform this. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to head over to the extended reading now to find out more information and clarification around this situation and anything else moving forwards. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. Please do me a massive favour and like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Namaste. Bye.